So neurofibromatosis is a genetic disorder. It's one of the most common genetic disorders with an estimated frequency of about one in 3,000 persons. Interestingly, that makes it more frequent than other things such as cystic fibrosis, Parkinson's disease, muscular dystrophy, all combined, even though many people haven't heard about it. About 50% of the time, you inherit an abnormal gene or a gene mutation from a parent, and the other 50% of the time it's thought to happen spontaneously. At the same time, it's one of the most spontaneously mutated genes that we have in humans. Interestingly as well, neurofibromatosis is a systemic disorder, and it results in tumors of the peripheral uh, nervous system and tumors, tumors of the central nervous system. So it can cause brain tumors, as well as tumors on the skin and within any nerve throughout the body. About 50% of individuals with neurofibromatosis have some form of learning disability and or attention problems, and they may have other problems affecting their bone structure, scoliosis, or um, problems in development. So we tend to follow them from birth all the way through adulthood.